what's going on, Afukas? Sending you all love and light. Thank you to everyone that's like, share, and subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading or if you've donated to my page, I appreciate you guys, okay? Um, this energy could be masculine or feminine. Place it on whatever side you need to. If you guys, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so that you know when I'm here uh, with new content. And if this resonates with you, please hit the like button for me, okay? Um, so <clears throat> let's go into... Whoever is pulling on your energy right now, this is why we're here. Who is pulling on uh, a Fucus's energy? Okay, this is someone that says they cannot stop thinking of you while they are with them. So this is a person that's in a relationship with another person or they're in a situationship. Take it how it resonates for you and your specific um, situation. I'm sorry, we are too different. I do not see a future with you. So this is a person that went and may have been um, dating you, dating others, um, and may have felt that someone else resonated with them a little bit more deeply than you did. But instead of telling you that and saying, hey, I met someone, I feel like my energy is strongest over here. I feel like I want to be over here with this person, or I feel like I want to get to know this person here. They may have strung you and this person on, okay? Um, early in the morning is when I think about you. So this is a person that you may have awakened to before. You guys may have spent the night, may have had long nights with this person, may have woke up next to this person. Um, this person also, if they've never awakened next to you, they wake up feeling the um, energetic urge um, for some sort of sexual relief when it comes to you, right? The pull is towards you in the morning, okay? So when they wake they feel like, you know, they want to be with you intimately um, for some of you, okay? Um, that's also not going to be for everyone, but this is the energy that's coming through. Early in the morning is when they are like this. For me, when I see that energy, most times it's not the women that be that horny in the morning. It be the men, right? So this may be a male energy or a masculine energy um, that could be uh, pulling on you now, okay? Last card is I'm an alcoholic. So this is a person that likes to drink a lot. They may go out a lot to lounges or bars, or they may drink a lot at home. And um, somebody may have been very uh, appalled by the amount of maybe beer cans or beer bottles, etc., or alcohol bottles that they saw at the residence of this person, okay? Um, and you may have mentioned to them that they may have a problem with drinking and they said, no, I don't. I can stop at any time. That's also the energy that's coming through. Okay. So we have a uh, dinner. Yep. This person likes to go out, eat dinner and drink. Okay. And may uh, eat while they're at the bar type of situation, eat and drink uh, while they're out with their friends. They may have liked to wine and dine you as well. Um, this person you know, they're in their feelings right now because they have a confession for you, right? The confession is that they thought that they uh, were not compatible with you. That is what the confession is. Um, they never told you that, though. But since they've been where they are, they see now that they're more compatible with you, a few kids, than they were with the other person that they thought they were more compatible with, okay? And this is the reason why they can't stop thinking about you where they are, because they know that they made um, the wrong assessment of a situation. I won't say that a choice, because I feel like in their mind, they weren't making a choice. They just felt like, I don't have to choose between these two people because I'm not in a commitment with either of them. I'm just going to go where I feel like I want to go, hang out where I feel like I want to hang out at, okay? So this person was acting as a free soul and felt like they were going to spend time with whomever they wanted to spend time with and ended up getting more into the person um, on this side, not you, okay? And then once they started getting into this person and on all that that person entailed, they figured that that person had a lot of things going on that they were interested in and they didn't really, you know, mesh with the things that you may have been interested in, Afukas. So they're like, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit different 
you know, or I like these things over here, different things with this person. And a, and a fucus is not like that. So, you know, I feel like a fucus is too different, right? Now, this person is watching your every move on social media. You may live close to this person. And if you do, you just got to be mindful that this person may be riding by your house. Um, this person may be checking up on you. Um, you can lock your pages down if you do have anything that's public. Um, you can make sure that you know. I feel like mutual friends of yours and theirs could be watching for you if you have already blocked this person. For some of you, this person may have gossiped to the people that you guys know um, in common and may have told them a bit of lies to make themselves look better. They don't want people to know that they were playing two people at the same time and may have just you know, uh, decided to move closer to one person without telling the other person the truth. Okay. Um, I feel like, yeah, there's some issues here, um, with, with their delivery. Okay. So this person's right. King of cups energy is coming through here. Now in your mind, if you, cause you felt like this person was very loving, very caring. And while you were dealing with them, they could have offered you a lot of love and they could have looked like they were emotionally balanced and secure, right? You even felt like this person, you know, they were the type that didn't want to argue. They didn't want to have, um, conflict, stuff of that nature that may have attracted you as well. They could have been financially stable right? They could have been paying for them wines and dines, taking you out, you know, um, really splurging on you. So you felt like this person, okay, you know, they have their, their ducks in order. They have things that look appealing to me, um, especially when some of you were hanging out with people that were allowing you to pay the bill, right? A few kids, most times they weren't even offering to, to pitch in. So I get it, right? This person has been trying to manifest you back in. Okay. So First off, King of Cups energy is water sign or Libra for me, okay? We have Magician energy here, Virgo, uh, Gemini, Aries, right? Now they're focused, right? They're concentrating on how to come back into your energy, what they need to do to come back into your energy because now they see you as uh, a leader. They see you as someone they want to have in their life. They see that they were being self-centered before. They see that they were not being honest before. They see, you know, um, that if they walked away from you and went towards someone else, they feel like they're being now pulled back to you, okay? You may have magnetic in energy around you that is enticing this person back, right? And they probably were not paying attention to that before. It probably was always there, but they used and utilized their free will and may have went towards who they felt was a better option for them, right? Okay, so I feel like in essence, this person could have, ghosted you. And I really hate using that word, but I feel like the calls, the phone, phone calls, the text messages, the time that they spent with you, it was cut off gradually to the point where it just wasn't there at all. And then you guys are like, we're such and such, right? Or well, they just decided to just not say something and just get, get ghost or get lost on me. Okay. So this is who coming through. Why? Because now they see you as a Ten of Pentacles. Not only do you take care of your home or your work, you take care of business, right? You do what you need to do. You're always financially stable. This person could have borrowed money from you. This person could have uh, seen how you are around your family as well. This is a family card for me, the Pentacles, right? This is traditional family values, right? Virgo energy. They could have seen that you have a close-knit family or that you guys really take care of each other. This is a person that may not have experienced that before. Um, they may be craving that where they are because like I said, they felt like a situation was different than yours. Thus, it would be better, um, but they got a rude awakening. Okay, Now they're looking back and saying, yeah, I messed this up. Not only does a few kids have uh, good morals, good values, you know, their finances are in order, they're affectionate, they're loving, they're caring, their family is dope. You know, here I am over here 
with the wrong type of stuff, right? But Spirit is saying, hey, you did this to yourself. The cycle with a fucus is already over, right? The world card is here. This is an end of a, a life cycle. This is a completion, okay? Um, I feel like these two cards here is what a fucus is going towards. They're going towards their Ten of Pentacles. They're going towards their new beginning, right? Because I feel like this person in this energy brought in this end of a life cycle for a fucus, right? So this person is having to deal with what they've done in essence, okay? Right? Don't talk about me. Don't lurk around me. Don't watch me. Don't do this. Don't crave me while you're drinking and gossiping about me out with your friends. Don't have me all up in your mouth when I wasn't good enough to be in your life or you felt like you were doing better with someone else. Don't do that. Okay? So this is the energy. Okay, so hopefully you guys know who this person is, but this is what's coming through, my loves. I send you all love and light. You guys take care.